How's it going? Chance okay, my precision. Uh, recently watched a Bo Vice review from a channel called Gibson Life. Um, awesome review. He has a bunch of good videos. Go check him out. Um, we pretty much have the exact same Bo Vice, just a different mounting system. He has it permanently mounted to a, a workbench, which is awesome. If you have that ability, I'd go that route. But if you're like me, where you have to work in a confined space, or like a, a small room in your house, or for me, this is pretty much my bow tuning or my bow station where I do all my bow tuning and then I gotta go to the side of my house to start the paper tune. Um, this review is, is more for you. Um, I used to have a $50 bow vise at the time. That's all I could afford, so it worked. I just ran into some issues. It was just a wing nut tightening system where um, I used it so much that I'd have to hold the bow vertical and then take a small hammer and tap that wing nut just to get that bow to um, stay level. Um, after working on my bow for a bunch and a few other people's, that system kind of was uh, holding me back. Couldn't do as much bows as I wanted to. Um, so, and then I fully changed my tuning station and uh, it was time to upgrade my bow vise. I have a buddy that has the OMP bow vise, fully micro adjustable. He got it when it was brand new, when it just came out. I think he was like on a waiting list for it and that thing was a pretty penny. Um, I think it was like closer to like four or 50, 500 bucks. Um, we live in Hawaii, so things gotta get shipped here. Shipping is expensive, so I think it was closer to 500. Um, but it mounts to the limbs and uh, I've had limb issues in the past so anything that mounts to the limbs I'm kind of hesitant on getting but I have another buddy who had the uh, Baker Archery product bovice the BAP bovice and once I saw it I knew that was the vice that I wanted to get I was teeter-tottering between the OMP and then once I found out that there's a bow vise like that out there um, where it actually holds the grip of the bow and not the limbs, I was all for it. Especially that when I did purchase the bow vise, they had a um, an adapter system for a last chance bow press. Now, if you do have a last chance bow press and like you said, you work in a confined space, this is gonna be for you. So without further ado, let me show you. So let's say you are working on a bow or you just got done working on a bow, everything's all good. And uh, a new guy comes in and says, I'd like to, you know, um, install a rest, get center shot, knock sets and D loop. All I would do is just pull this out, grab the BAP bow vise, slide it right in and boom you're ready to work you know grab the bow throw it in and it just grabs straight to that grip and boom want to work on a, a D loop the knock set let's check your center let's check your knock point get that all perfect squared away I mean this thing is awesome 360 degrees all out I, I mean it's on a ball joint so it you know it's perfect easy you also can bore sight your rifle if you need to that thing opens up pretty wide to um, account for a rifle I, mean, I think right there boom can, uh, set up a rifle and then start oops and then start getting that all set level that all out look down the look down the scope and uh yeah you're done all you gotta do grab it slide it off put it on your workbench okay let's check cam timing boom 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 Okay, camp, 
Cam timing is good. Take that off. Oh, you want to check? You want to get your first, second axis is done. Your bow. Boom, boom. Grab it. And everything is smooth. Um, for me, I have to keep my all my bow tuning stuff in the garage. So what I did is I put a little bit of grease on the ball joint so everything stays lubricated but now we're you know setting up levels getting a level on the site and uh first second axis is complete take it off put the bow down and uh if you really wanted to i mean i could just put that facing down press the bow work on the bow take the bow press take the bow out set it right back up start to work and uh, the reason why I like this system is I mean look how far that's sticking out of my station very right, close to almost almost a foot out um, so I mean I got little kid I got a little my little son running around I mean he's not that tall yet but say he runs jumps hits his head so we don't want that take it out put it back in the drawer and lock it back up. I mean, it's just that simple. Like I said, for me, this is all I really have to work on my bow. Um, I'm just thankful I even have a spot to work on my bow and other people's bows. But if you do have a confined space and you have a last chance bow press, I highly recommend um, getting that bow vise and uh i think i i think i paid 300 bucks for it around there no i think it was like 320 320 um oh one other thing it does have micro adjustable um i got the one where it micro adjusts so i can get the bow up and down level very well i mean it's pretty easy to get the bow um that vertical level money it says side to side the left and right so let me get it right there put the bow here and then let's get this straight so let's say it's canted off to the uh right all i gotta do is just Turn this wheel and uh, boom, I got a perfectly level bow. I got my left and right micro adjustable and I can visually, I mean, I can handle the uh, vertical fairly easy. And uh, yeah, boom, level bow, work on it. What you want to do? You want to do this. You want to have it like this. You want to go in this way. Such an awesome bow vise. I did a workshop out on the other side of the island. And I mean, bows were going in and out of this thing. Tying in the loose knock sets. And it, it, people were just, they were tripping out how easy this bow vise is. Especially for having such a compact system um, to work with. It was awesome. And boom, take the bow out. I mean, I absolutely love this thing. I like to keep it straight. That way it goes in the drawer. Nice and easy. Put that away. But go check them out. Um, this is all it is right here. I love the color too. So that was a plus. And uh, a very good bow price bow vice and a very good price i have to say um that's pretty much it go check them out i got a couple other videos that i like to um do some reviews on some targets that i got um so stay tuned for those and i want to try to do a giveaway all you got to do is subscribe go to my youtube or subscribe to my youtube channel and then go to my instagram and uh, like my Instagram at caveman 
underscore precision. Um, I'm gonna put a post up. I wanna do um, a giveaway on a batch of arrows, whatever arrows you wanna shoot. If you wanna test out some new arrows, if you, whatever arrows you shoot, I'll, you win them. I'll buy a dozen of um, whatever arrows you want. If you want the same arrows you're shooting, awesome. You wanna try some different ones, whatever it is, whoever wins it, just let me know. Um, or I'll let you know that you won. You let me know what arrows you want and I will buy them and send them out to you. But that's pretty much it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. God bless and yeah.